Houston mother chases off two people who snatched her bag and took off running. Some surveillance video caught the moment that she ran them down and tackled one of the thieves. Luckily, she was not hurt, but uh, she did get her bag back. Law enforcement stresses this is not what you should be doing if you ever are in this situation. KPRC 2's Real One Belogan live at Uncle Bean's Coffee on Houston Avenue. Real One, did the woman ever think against running after them or was this just an instinct? Yeah, Daniela, she tells me she did think about it for probably less than half of a second, definitely even seeing that in that response in that video. But she says she assessed the damage or rather assessed everything and didn't feel any danger. But again, police stressing they do not recommend doing it. Claudia Callejas enjoys her morning routine coffee at Uncle Bean when a woman approaches, grabs her bag and takes off. But she didn't skip a beat and followed. I did not feel threatening enough, Felix. If I would have seen a weapon or uh, a guy stronger, I would have asked for help like anybody else would have. A split second decision could have given her a different outcome. Police typically say when stuff like this happens to let the stuff go. Don't engage with them. Oh, yeah. When I'm in defense mode, when I feel attack, I am, uh, I did assess the uh, but this is a split second, so you understand it's no longer me. Houston Police's robbery division say wallets and purse theft are a crime of opportunity. That if you're ever in a situation where you're walking alone, to make sure to keep your head on a swivel, checking and being aware of your surrounding. And if a would-be robber does approach you for your items, just to give it away. Grabbing the bag like if the bag was like my baby. Mm -hmm. That's all I wanted, the bag. I didn't want to hurt her. She seemed young, actually. This seemed like the most valuable stuff that this bag could have just gone with them. But you're saying you had valuables in it. Yeah, it was bag. more valuable to me, the bag, than the iPad. The iPad's replaceable. Yeah. But I had irreplaceable items in there. This time my sister told me that my niece Camilla was going to be born. Uh, so it had a sentimental value. I can't replace this. Now, Houston police were down Alma Street here behind me here in the last 30 minutes or so going door to door trying to get additional surveillance video because this is where those two suspects ran towards after that whole ordeal. Now, Houston police asking for any additional information for anyone who might know the identity of these two to give them a call. Reporting live, Roman Belogan, KPRC, 2 News.